بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اٹس نمان شکر خان ہیئر ود یو لیسن نمبر ٹو اینڈ دا ٹاپک آف ٹو ڈیز لیسن از پرسنٹیج اٹس دا کانٹینیوشن آف دا پریویس لیسن سو از ٹائٹلڈ ایز پارٹ ٹو ان دس لیسن وی ول اسٹڈی سم فارمولے فار پرسنٹیج اینڈ سم کوشچنس ول بی سالوڈ ریلیٹڈ ٹو دوز فارمولے کمنگ ٹو دا فارمولے فرسٹ آف آل ریڈ دا سینٹینس بلاؤ It's a percent of B is C or C is a percent of B. In this sentence, A is percentage, B is the total value and C is a part of B. This sentence mathematically can be written as C equals A over 100 multiplied by B. With translation, we can see that C is a percent of B. This is the essence of percentage. This formula is applied on every type of percentage questions. We will start from the basic ones, then we will see how to calculate the complicated ones. If you understand this formula, it means you can solve any type of question related to percentage. Basically, this formula is used to find the percentage of any number. <coughs> now, if we convert this formula in another form, if is this B is being mul uh, multiplied here, you can divide it on the other, other sides. 100 is being divided here, you can multiply on the other side then a new formula will be formed as a percent is equal to c over b multiplied by 100 percent the percentage sign is just applied here to find to mention that it is percent number this formula is used to express a number as a percentage of another one in this case it's uh, the expression of c as a percentage of b now coming to some questions we have to find the value of the following ones. The first question is 20% of $130. Second question is 75% of 40 meters. Third one is 25% of 524. Coming to the solution, we will solve the first question is as 20 over 100 multiplied by dollars 130. Here, the zero with 20 will be cancelled with the zero with 100 then the 0 with 130 will be cancelled with the 0 with 10 and then you multiply 2 with 13 and 2 13s are 26 the answer is dollars 26 second one 75 over 100 multiplied by 40 meters you can cancel the 0 with 40 with the 0 with 100 then do not cancel the remaining ones what we have to do is to just multiply 75 with 4 and then see if the zeros are being cancelled out. Otherwise, you do not cancel. If there is some denominator having 10, 100, 1000, any power of 10, then do not cancel this one with any of the denominator if 0 is not being cancelled out. It will help uh, this question easy to solve manually. Here you can uh, multiply 75 with 40 and the answer is 300 over 10. Then cancel the 0 with 300 with the 0 with 10 and the answer is 30 meters. The third one is 25 over 100 multiplied by 540. Here 100 can be cancelled out completely easily. So we cancel it here. It will be 25 ones are 25. 25 fours are 100. Then with 4 you can cancel 524, it's 4 1s are 4 and 4 131s are 524. You can simply see it's 4 1s uh, are 4, it's 4 1s are 4, 1 is remaining, carry to the 2, it's 12, 4 3s are 12 and then 4 1s are 4. And the answer is 131. Now Expressing one quantity as a percentage of another means uh, we have to uh, use the second formula here. Read the question first. 
there are 20 tables and 60 chairs in a hall. Find the percentage of the tables, the chairs in the hall. Means we have to find what percentage of tables are there, what percentage of chairs is there. For this solution, first of all, we have to see total number of items in the hall. It's 20 tables and 60 chairs, means it is 80 items in the hall. So coming to the first part, that is tables. The percentage of tables is 20 over 80 multiplied by 100%. Cancel the zeros of 20 and 80. Then cancel 2 and 8 with 2. It's 2 ones are 2 and 2 fours are 8. Then cancel 4 with 100. It's 4 ones are 4 and 4 25s are 100. And the answer is 25%. Similarly, for the chairs, the percentage of chairs is equal to 60 over 80 multiplied by 100%. Cancel the zeros of 60 and 80. Then cancel 6 and 8 at the table of 2. It will be 2, 3 is 6 and 2, 4 is 8. Then cancel 4 with 100 just like at the previous question. At 4 ones are 4 and 4 25s are 100. So the answer is 3 multiplied by 25 equals 75 percent students these two formulae are very important to learn you just remember the formulae solve the questions related to the formulae and uh, you are supposed to submit the assignments given by your class teacher your subject teacher in your whatsapp groups thank you very much students your next lesson will be about the percentage part three it will be uh, part three of this same topic. We will solve some other questions relating to some other formulae, some complicated ones, some other techniques in percentages. Thank you very much, students. Allah Hafiz.